was forgetting that mic. <laughs> Hello and welcome, my legendary leads. So, before we start, there are two things. First off, I have a little unboxing to do. I opened the box, but I had not have a look at the goods. This was a pre-order bonus in a German shop, which is actually very cool. Where do I put that box? Okay, thank you. And that is in this little bag. You might have seen that already. Rip that open. And here we have, that's a bit smaller than I would have thought, to be honest, but you can actually open that up. It's a little Legends Arceus Pokeball. And I did not know that you could open it up. It actually can hold three Switch games. I think we'll use that for our Diamond and Pearl and Arceus, right? Well, one of our Arceus. That's awesome. Yeah, hold that please. Comes also with a little stand. And we would also be good in the backdrop. Where could you screw that? Nowhere. Nowhere. Cool. I don't have room for it and I want that in my living room anyway, so. These small things, yeah, I do know the Lego is probably also not very visible, but this is the best place I can put it, so yeah. And I did, as some of you might know, had a poll on my Twitter, what are you doing? About which starter I should choose in this playthrough. In my private one, I have chosen Rowlet. Rowlet, as you can see now came in last place and the winner is Oshawott. I don't mind that Oshawott from all the water type starters is my favorite starter and maybe we can put it on the mic I that worked a few minutes ago where I tested it that's fine that looks good okay that's it I did make the poll invisible okay so let's start Pokemon Legends Arceus. I have to put the mic a bit down or I won't see the screen fully. And I don't know if that's the same for you, but I get really annoyed if even just a small thing is on my screen that isn't supposed to be there. Like a cable hanging there or something. We want to play an Espanol. Uh, uh, damn it. Thought I could pull off a Spanish sentence, but my mind is blank right now. <laughs> I know, I know one. <coughs> Siestra comprende, madre, gracias. That didn't make any sense, and probably all of you who speak Spanish now have bleeding ears. Be my guest. Okay. Yes, yeah, saving. There we go. You know, in comparison to how BDSP look on this screen, uh, this is an old screen, so you see it fine. I see it in, well, probably 720p. This doesn't look too bad. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. So I play as a male one in my private playthrough. That's why I'm going for a female one. And well, these are the same as BDSP basically. And I do like that with the little... You know, that's the strange thing. I'm normally more of a guy who likes a fair maiden, if you so will. With a, a very bright skin tone. But I kind of dig this. With the hairdo and stuff, this works so well for me. So let's take her. What is thy name? 
what is my name? So I wanted to put legend in it in some way. And it's a female one, so it's Legia. We are Legia. Not Lugia. Legia. Yes. The legendary Legia. Legia. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. Also, if you did not know, this opening will be strange. Very strange. I was really surprised by that. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. What do you call them, Marcus? Probably Maju. Wait, they didn't do that actually, right? Some, uh... Was it some guidebook or something? I don't know where it's what the origin of it is, but there was stated that Pokemon back in the day, before they became known as Pokemon, were known as Maju, which is Japanese for magical beast. But they are already Pokemon here, even though people do not put them in their pockets normally. Huh. I guess it's brand recognition. I mean, you won't only need to call the game for the brand recognition. You could do it otherwise in game. Oh well. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. I can try, why? Is the game sound that loud? That working? <laughs> we need to sort those cables. Wait, what? Why? Oh, you have to do that every time, right? Uh, okay. I lost my phone in another world. Yeah, that's the question. Am I time traveling or isekai? -ing? I don't actually know. Guess we'll find that out. This does look a bit like the original sprite it was supposed to have, right? But more like the actual sprite we got. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll just keep it there, just yeah. in case something happens. Oh, uh, did I put in the noise gate stuff? Pretty quickly check that. I think I did. That's not right. It's on the mic. Okay, here we are. Okay, yeah. Wake up! Wait, who? Wait a minute. Now that I'm about it, uh, just so you know, I private. But he sounds so angry here. But he's really not the guy being so angry, right? Oh, do wake up, won't you? Are you alive, my girl? Yeah. Oh, I have short. That is short. Oh, it's short pen. You gave me quite the shock falling from the like that. I don't think I can pull voice off for this one, sorry. But thank goodness, you seem unharmed. Are you? He has a nice shirt. What nicer than? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fall out of the sky, you understand? Come now, who in the world does that? Oh, now I'm wondering. I don't know who he's supposed to. But I think his descendants are people from Gala. Or at least he is from Gala, I'm pretty sure, because in the German version, it's partially... But the thing is, I know with uh, Fantina, whatever her name was, most... 
was French, except in the French version, that she was English. Because he's suppo she was supposed to be from somewhere else. If he is from Gala, they can only use English, obviously. <laughs> Doesn't work just picking another language. Also, my guess is that he is Dalian. I don't know. Uh, not the ancestor. Some something about him strikes me. Oh, no. yeah. Maybe we. I don't think we know that. Not from the game itself. But maybe. But yeah. I mean, you fell out of the sky. You understand? Oh no! Who in the world does that? I must say, your clothing is. Wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance. Hot. How oh, did? I am. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. You know, with my tan and that shirt, I seem to come from Alola. Right. Might I offer some direction? We have somewhere around here. Hey. Oh no. Also, fair warning. You basically get every trial twice or twice. <laughs> Which the game is pretty good, but the beginning is. On that, on my first impression video. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well. This is a proper pickle indeed. I was like, are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Somehow, I. That's all with us eventually, maybe, time traveling. Are we the same trainers as we were? Bro? Wonder. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such. Oh, look, making. Yeah. Probably, and um, oh, uh, that's fair. A what? Ashwan is not as. completely forgotten. I had just caught up on these runaway Pokemon and you tumbled out of the sky. Team Sky? Where oh, TV. It's almost as if I knew you'd appear here. Ah, but do you know what a Pokemon is? I'm interested in what thing if I say not exactly. You have a dude down here? Shirt. Yeah. There's a little red uh, uh, egg. I'll show you when I. You don't? You have traveled a long way, haven't you? Well, these three here are what we call Pokemon. Very mysterious creatures, you see. Marvelous! Oh yes, and... What might know you... Oh, so you're called Legia. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely me. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even used my... My name is Leventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. 
Yeah, back in the day, the Pokemon professors were based on colors, not on trees, it seems. Guess they just had to grow into their role. But flowers grow into... <clears throat> Moving on. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as the... That red tag there, but... Put the... Oh, Blast and Brother! Oh, Brother. No. My darling Pokemon! Uh, you're not there, darling. Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three! Wait! Well, nothing to find here. But I... Well, if you press it... Yeah. Dash. My phone is ringing! What's going? It does look cool. I like the design, but it has to be folded or put it somewhere. Arcus, Arcus, Arcus. Yeah, I would get stuck in that all the time. You know that. I get even stuck in scissors. And my my fingers aren't big. Well, you're cheating because you're a tiny human. Found something that resembles a phone. Well, it does. Definitely. Probably your phone, but it's changed shape. Your strange power am Wait. What if a Rotom would get into that phone? Become a godly Rotom. Would become a Sueka. Comes a Suica card. Message up here. Oh, up on the Arc phone. I mission. Called Arc. Oh, that can be. Once again, work. That on eight points. Us. Oh, I got you, of course. Yeah, we did. Oak did. Oh, I'm glad you... That also kind of fits that. That thing gets lost all the time, and he. Same. Off to give. Perhaps I. Uh. 
That one is Rowlet. Rowlet can't... Apparently it... Say something, but people won't hear me. Ah, now they can hear me again. Yeah. The noise gate. Well. Break it. Try putting it on again. I just did nothing. I just put it in, and that worked. Mm, let me. Mm. Yeah. Just put a noise gate in. And that seems fine. You hear me? Ow. Oh, oh, it's picking up. If I'm here... Yeah, it works, right? Okay. And let's move on. It's always the same. I tested the... ...forehand? Today, even? Yeah. That one over there is Cyndaquil. Fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up. <laughs> yeah, okay. It worked for the other streams, though. I don't really get it. Now it's fine, right? I hope. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. The bit of delay you have. Okay. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using its shell-like object on its belly. Plus, plus. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my girl. Pokeballs. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. 50. I mean... What would happen if I used them all up? I bet someone made a video on that already, right? A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Ah, oh, but I won't, that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokémon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokéballs come in. Pokéballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokémon and... Why, the Pokémon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And if that... And with that, you've caught a Pokémon. dum 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 dum, -dum. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. I mean, he just thinks that we could if he's not capable and he's the professor. That's a strange assumption. But okay. 
Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. So far... Ah, so far be it from me to say so, I suppose. Given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Somehow the beginning of the sentence just didn't click in my head. It didn't make sense, even though it's a fine sentence. Huh. Yeah. I'm just skipping these because I know these, so... Let's just catch all Pokémon. I wanna do it with style. I don't want it to see me. You can actually force a critical catch by hitting it from the back. It's not a guaranteed catch, but... Well... Oh, wonderful! You've caught a Pokémon! It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Legia. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. So, let's get Rowlet from behind. Nope, that did see me. Oh, whoops, I missed. You have to press B if you want to stop aiming. I'm still getting used to that. Okay, that one is running away from me a lot. It seems to have calmed down now. Also, don't worry about the Pokeballs here. You cannot keep them anyway. 50 is a lot. I don't know why they give you 50 for this. I, I guess so that you get all the three, but honestly, it's not that hard to aim. <laughs> I can hardly believe it, Legia. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? So, which direction are you facing? that one okay and now you turned over mm -hmm. okay could you please turn around mm, that's not turned enough come on I wonder if it breaks out if I critical catch it because the last one seems to break out definitely just to teach you that it's not a guaranteed chance to catch them. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's scripted. That's definitely scripted. The last one I caught was uh, Oshawott. And that happened with that one too. And with this critical catch, I don't think this is a coincidence. Oh yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go. Another go. Another go, old girl. Just because the trainer in this one is five years older than normal, doesn't mean she's old! Stupid Brit. Also, for some reason, whenever I hit a beetle from the front instead of the back, I always hit its nose. Just happens. Always straight on the nose. Thank you very much, indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokémon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, uh, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. What are you doing? Oh. But I must say, Legia, I was taken aback by how well you used the Pokeballs. I like this set. It has leaves. As so yes, these are stamps. I... Uh, it's a strange technique I didn't know even uh, before as well. It's somehow like with a glass plate you put them on. Acrylic plate. Acrylic plate? Oh, sorry, it's an acrylic plate. I prefer a flame plate or something like that. The Arceus then plates going to the underground and he just... Yeah, that's a theory I have. 
Did this thing sink down and is the underground? Because there's a huge tree here and nowhere in Sinnoh you find that huge, huge, that huge tree except in the underground in BDSP. Just saying. But I must say, Legia, I was taken back by how well you use Pokeballs. That could have easily been phrased in a very bad way. <laughs> how good you are at handling balls or something. <laughs> how is it that you have to catch that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Seek out all Pokemon? That object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? No, it's not an odd device. That would be an oddish phone. If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream. <clears throat> that almost came out in a different voice and tone. <laughs> to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Wait, wouldn't Dex be a way too modern word for that time? Huh. But well, they do have metal boats already, as one Pokedex entry states. Well, it talks about the ship's screw, but you won't have that on a wooden boat. <laughs> wooden boats are row or sailing boats, not mechanical. But th the technical stuff is strange. It, something, Some stuff is like from the 20th century even, while other stuff seems to be from the 1800s or something. Yeah, but well, it's a different world. Yes, the proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research, containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And there lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Oh, now you can see that tag on her shirt pretty okay-ish. Oh, that's not a Geodude. That's... It... Oh wait, it could be an Onyx with only the first two stones after the head. It has the horn and stuff. Or maybe... This is a Gen 9 Pokemon. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a hint of Gen 9 in this one. Maybe even a Pokemon from Gen 9 somewhere. I would not be surprised. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? You've convinced me. That's all. His pants are so ugly. <laughs> Just say. Wait, that also... <sighs> His pants. The black with the yellow stripes. That's just the same as Delian Weirs, I, get, I think. Isn't his shirt... Also black with the yellow stripes, like that, I believe. Then, wait, this man's kind of burned. I don't know, the oven is, oh. that's gone already, I don't know, maybe it just picked up something, sometimes happens. Then, whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. With a Pokedex to complete. They are like this. They are his pants. Trousers. Isn't that? No? 
But I think there's an outfit you can buy like that. Yeah, that's what I thought about. Hmm. Hmm. But you see, the skin tone and everything... We don't see his hair! <laughs> that's the thing about that. But... Right, it could be. Huh. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Yeah, I mean, what I'm wearing are basically sleeping clothes, right? Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. Well, okay, this will be a long stream and my watch tells me to move. So, let's at least move a bit. Just a bit sidestepping. That should do it. I already trained today, but yeah. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guards, man. This young lady was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit. Her shoes are cooler than mine. The male one has, has these cheap sandals. That's a nice village. But was it evening? I think. Was it dinner and some sort of food? Right? I mean, the day and night cycle in here is not related to the real world. Which is good for this game. Th that is really good for this game. Because it, it wouldn't work. It would make stuff like catching specific Pokemon that are only at night or only at day so much worse for the Pokedex missions and stuff. So for this game, yeah. To be honest, even in a normal Pokemon game, I think, at least in the beginning, they should hard code it today, because why would you start your journey in the middle of the night? That wouldn't make sense. This way, if you please. So Ripley. Jubilee Village. It's come a long way, thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Exploration Team. Those roads were unknown, known to locals as Canada Avenue. Oh, the village was built scarcely two years ago. There. That's going too fast to read. It's on the screen, you can see it. Well, to read aloud. I can read it, but... Not aloud. That's a Canal Avenue, huh? I have a theory that this is actually Canalife City, not Jubilife in the future. Kind of... It kind of fits it more. Oh, botheration! I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at this at the canteen? The canteen. I hope not that canteen. But depends on who shoots first. It's just past this bridge here, then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. Wallflower? That's a nicer name than in German. What do they call that in German? Wasn't that an English name as well? Wasn't that like... Hot stuff or something? Are you already there? With minus, you can go on the map. Yeah, yeah it's uh, Heiße Kost is German. F uh, yeah, it's German for hot, hot, food, hot meal, hot meal. It's called hot meal in German. Hot wheel, hot wheel yeah. Well, we do have a hot wheel Pokemon. 
It's just past this. Oh, uh, yeah, I already said that. Ahem. Run, my friend, run. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. That's called GPS. Okay. Shall we talk to everyone right now? Yeah, let's do that. Let's start on... Whoop, nope, not that one, please. I always want to run with B. Old school RPG player, so... Don't mind me doing that. Uh, okay, that guy doesn't stand here now. <laughs> okay. Let's explore the village. So, this village of ours also attracts strange garb folk like yourself, eh? Also, Gardenia? I don't know her English name. The grass type gym leader from Sinnoh. That's her ancestor, definitely. I mean, that wondrous hairstyle, however that one works. Actually, is it just colored hair? If you look at it from this side. Impressive work coloring it right down that line. But it seems to be just colored hair. And a headband. Why make that hairstyle though? I have no idea. I came here from across the sea in search of fields to call my very own. For this adventure of mine to succeed, I need to make sure we can work these fields safely. I'm always pressing B to run. Not now, you better head to the wall. Let's explore the village some other time. We cannot go inside the houses yet. So, yeah. This beard still looks strange. It's just... just looks like he taped a green stripe of tape to, over his lip. And not even in a good way. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? <laughs> the wallflowers for Galaxy Team Folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Not very friendly, the people here. Oh, yes. Let's see if he is annoyed as well, like she is. Who in the world are you? And what's that bizarre garb you're wearing? A Pokemon could slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothes. I mean... I don't know if your clothes are all that better when it comes to slicing through it. Could be some kind of gambeson technique and actually that would work. A gambeson, if you don't know, is like a mantle made out of wool and stuff. And it's actually pretty sturdy. It can actually hold arrows from your flesh. Which is really useful. Not the best, of course, like it Chainmail would be better, obviously, but it's still pretty good for the material it is made of. Hmm, for you to get in here, someone must have vouched for you. Was it Professor Levin then? Do you two know each other? He's from a region a long way off. That's also, also another theory I have. Maybe he is the ancestor of someone from Gen 9. Not the most reliable sort, though. Letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all. Three more of them. Go I had forgot who said that. Got away just a while ago. If I hadn't been resting up after some Pokemon. Wait, it's still him. His name is just not showing. Ah, my mind. If I hadn't been resting up after some Pokemon dropped me with a move called Thundershock, I'd have. Corral them for sure. Corral them? But the professor, well, as always, Pokemon is kind of underwhelming. You'll see it later. Unfortunately, it's just as Ray says. He's called Ray. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Uh, okay, he has different in personality than she is. Yeah. 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 I 
I like that. They should do that more often. Also, put in the put always the male or female counterpart in as well, but never as a rival like Hoan did. I did not like that. Have a rival, especially uh, the best thing would be a rival for the male and the female one, so four characters in total, and then let's go. Or it doesn't have to be in a let's go game, obviously. But everything will be quite all right now. Ligia here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. As in, she's going to join the Survey Corps? What makes you think that's a good idea? We can't just take in any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. Technically, that beach... Oh, that was auto text. Whoops. I'll allow it. Technically, that beach is kind of still part of the village, right? I mean, it's outside the walls, sure, but there are no Pokemon there. Yeah. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Professor Leventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange. Sorry, sorry. And for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. Well, not even in... Uh, well, let's say this is somewhere around the Industrial Revolution. 15 wasn't really the working age normally there. 15-year-old started working sometimes then, yeah, sure, but... You were probably going to school still, normally. But, well, this might be the Middle Ages in the Pokemon world, who knows. But why I can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow, we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, uh -huh. a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Mm -hmm. Appreciate. Sure, that's what it is. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Beanie, old chump, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Yeah, I was kind of disgusted by the thought of a potato mochi as well, but it's not really a potato mochi. It's, uh, what do you, it's kind of mashed potatoes that are fried? And have the consistency of mochi, but there's no mochi involved at all. It's it's pure potato. I think there's not anything else in it, right? Flour from the mushrooms. Yeah, maybe flour. But yeah, flour is it is an ingredient, but you could never really. It has nothing to do with the flavor. Not really. But yeah. So, it, it actually looks not all that bad. I would try it. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Yeah, that's on the desk there. That looks a lot like the actual thing. And so I guess we have rice on top of that? These bowls? But they usually contain miso soup. Right, with a lid. It's normally miso soup, right. 
Yeah. Well, where'd you find this stranger in the first place, Professor? Ah, oh, well, you know of that great hole in the sky? The people call the space-time rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. All the way from the mountain to the beach. That was a long journey and I live. I'm... I would be more surprised that I survived that instead of falling out of it. I mean, falling out of it, well, sure, that's strange, but surviving a fall like that? That's completely unreal. Was that a joke? I... I have the perfect voice for him in my head. This personality, that, there's a perfect voice that I cannot imitate. So, how do you describe a voice to someone? You don't. Come now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with far facts. <coughs> <laughs> of all the things I misread. <laughs> Why that? <laughs> oh boy. Now you already know there are many Pokemon here in the history region. Sure, they're all over the place. In the grass, in the forests, in the ocean. It's up to us in the Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. But it's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Legia will come in. Da -da -da -da. She successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand? No Pokemon. Still, still, even after playing it for some hours. It's a new mechanic for the people here to catch Pokemon, but you take a ball. And this is not a ball, this is an egg. And do this. Damn it. Your rubbing gave him the rest. Yeah. I mean, sure. It's a new mechanic, you have to learn it, but it's throwing things. It's not that hard. How can people be so bad at aiming? Sure, moving targets are a bit harder to hit than not moving targets. But it's still not impossible. How can no how come nobody has ever caught three Pokemon? It really seems like everyone only has one Pokemon even, so. Nobody caught two Pokemon might also be the case. And... Uh, are you just not try, Right? I mean, Ash just had his 30 Sephiroth Balls fall down and he caught 30 th Taurus with it. He did not even throw them. Surely they can manage to throw Pokeballs at three Pokemon that are easy to catch, like Bidoof. And Bidoof in this game never broke out, and I caught like 20 or something? So, I mean, I guess I have, I, I come from somewhere where that's a more normal thing to do, and I'm probably a tra or was probably a trainer in the future, was in the future. Strangely makes sense. But, but... <sighs> I'm still not sure if there even are Pokemon in your world. Because Arceus said that this world is home to Pokemon. Yeah, that's what Arceus said. And if I'm from a world that has no Pokemon in it, just maybe it's our world, we have the Pokemon games. We have no experience catching Pokemon in real life, so... Shame on you! My eyes look like TMs.
<laughs> just saying. Nobody in the galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. Shouldn't I become the leader instantly with that? And this means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. That's really something. We count ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a single wild Pokemon while fending off their attacks. Also, I wasn't attacked that often. Especially in the first parts, you don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Shinx attack you, but... That's because of the starting area, I think. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, they should have managed that starting area. Galopa nearly killed you. And the water did too. Yeah, I almost died in the water. That wasn't my fault. It seemed like she, uh, he in that case, was swimming. Not good, but enough to keep himself over the surface. But no, you cannot swim in this game without a Pokemon. Oh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to just do that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? I don't like this guy, honestly. Also, I guess he is the ancestor to that grass-type gym leader from Carlos, but I'm not sure. Maybe he's not the ancestor to anyone we know, so might also be the case. Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know? The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I mean, kudos to her intestinal system that she eats this much like always pretty much and isn't getting a bit fat on her hips i wish i had that i'm sure we'll start to rain in the good captain stress eating soon enough now have your full leg yeah and think if you make it into the galaxy team you'll never have to worry about a meal again the team provides for all its members needs even if said members fell out of the sky. Oh, what a missed opportunity. I should have called myself Lucy. Like Lucy in the sky <laughs> with diamonds. <laughs> right? That would be so fitting. Also, Lucy comes from Lucy, the the latin word for light which is where their names came from in the first place in diamond and pearl uh, his name was lucas and her was lucia so it would even fit in that case huh huh that's nice that was quite delicious quite delicious indeed indeed -o. You're awfully relaxed about all this. You do know that we won't get to have Legia join the Survey Corps unless she passes a trial. Not to worry, I have completion, complete confidence in Legia's skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Legia, was it? For tonight, at least, we'll provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters here. Yeah, and then I get the choice if I want to join the Survey Corps. And the choice is either I do that or I die, so... Yeah. These people seem to be bad people. Just saying. Also, the game enemy wants to crack that those pots open there. But you can't. But if you fail to pass the trial, we put you to... We put you to tomorrow again but if you fail to pass the trial we put you to tomorrow no wait that doesn't make sense we, we put to you tomorrow tomorrow yeah i misplaced yeah. the two that was on me okay but if you fail to pass the trial we put to you tomorrow you must move on you will be expelled from the village to meet your fate 
And then perhaps you're there. In the wilds. Yeah, that's the choice I'm saying. I mean... <laughs> uh, at least give me some Pokeballs, then I can manage. Captain Saline's like Hisui, in a way. They're both plenty harsh. I like him more than her. <laughs> no, no, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. That was very differently phrased in the German version. In the German version, he basically said, I hope you don't fall out of the bed as well. And he said something about futons. Which makes sense, because you don't see any beds anywhere, but plenty futons. And you definitely... And you definitely sleep in a futon, and falling out of a futon is kind of... Impossible. You, you can roll off of it, but falling? Falling means... You accelerate from a height to a lower height. But if you're already on ground level, you cannot fall. Like a ball that can't fall over. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yeah, sleep tight. I will. Still... People falling from the sky? That's some kind of story. Yeah. It's this game's story. Haha! So, can I already get the outfits from you? Probably not. Oh no! The shading! It looks like she has a beard! Oh no! <laughs> That's unfortunate! <laughs> Yeah. Not yet. Nice little house. That's actually pretty big for one person. Honestly, though, right? I think it's in Genesis 4 people. Yeah, the other houses do have more people. This chest looks like you could store lots and lots of items in it. It's a jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. That cup there looks really nice, that green one. I would love that. But how am I supposed to get the stuff I need to eat from up there? I'm too tiny. survey tips. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent, diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Save your progress. Yeah, I do have auto save on here. I usually turn it off, but for this I leave it on. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. This is more for cooking than for heating, but I guess for both. it will it's only work. Heat source in here. Yeah. Oh, but, but we are in Hokkaido. We would need heat. It's a dresser of very solid construction where extra sets of clothing can be kept. Oh, you can also look at that lamp. It's a paper lantern. It seems to use oil as its fuel. There are some lovely stones that someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. It's a full-length mirror. Our five principles. Behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are out your respect. Well, they have to earn that. Likes and dislikes are luxury ill-afforded. You hear that, Facebook? Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head on. And we rest. Yes.
That's the moon. <gasps> uh oh. This can't be good. The next day. Da 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 da. Wrong game zero. Talk about. Hey, in there, you awake? There was some wild lightning last night, right? Anyway, if you're up, come on out. Wasn't there I should change clothes first? Was it later? I was. You get first clothes Can I? Right, that trial comes first. Did you sleep all right? I know that's not easy in a strange new land. We'd better not keep Captain Saline waiting. Let's hurry to headquarters. To be honest, sure, I haven't traveled all that far off only Hungary, basically, but I never really had problems sleeping somewhere else. I, I was fine. Okay, sure, the first night in this house was pretty bad, but that was because our bed still hadn't arrived and we had one of those blow-up beds that got a hole in the middle of the night. So we had to sleep on the floor. That, that did take some sleep out of us. <laughs> but that wasn't because of the new place directly. It was just... Well, we were waiting for the bed to arrive. Here we are in Galaxy Hall. What do you think? Ever seen a building this grand before? Who's Purcell? Wait. That was... The nurse, right? Yeah, the names are different in English than the notes. Don't give up! Keep those eyes open! Wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. Sie sind das Essen, nein, wir sind die Jäger. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack, outnumbered. That, it, uh, yeah, you weren't there when that happened. That actually happens. There was a Pokemon following me, which uh, I wanted a bit, just a tiny bit too far off. So the levels were a bit higher than I would like them to be, of the enemies. And then I accidentally run, ran into another Pokemon and I had to face two. But I only could send out one Pokemon. I did run from that battle. <laughs> and this is what happens when you go so far afield. But the metal... metal... the metal... The medical corps will put you to rights. You uh, do realize that if you fail your trial and get flung out of the village, you could well die out there. This, I mean, I, I knew that Pokemon would attack you. They made that pretty sure in the trailers, but I don't know. This game is kind of savage. <laughs> they really just blatantly state that you will die. Well, you might die even sooner than that if you have to take on this trial without a Pokemon to be your partner. Captain Saline, man, I've brought Legia. You may enter. Oh, she has a hunko there. I think. Might be something else, but it seems like a hunko. Uh, a hanko, if you don't know, is this Japanese stamp you can actually use instead of signing something. Which I still question because it's so easy to replicate. Or steal? Nobody can steal my handwriting. Just They could copy it, sure, but that's harder to do than just stealing a piece of wood. Also, if you lose it, I, yeah. Well, it does work, uh, apparently, so... Yeah. Let us get straight to it. 
If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokémon. Bidoof, Starly and Electric Bidoof. Three species right away? But none of us have ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokémon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. Also, the starters should have a higher catch rate than normal Pokémon, so that as well. I quickly clean my nose. Nose as clean as a nose passes uh, nose. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. Well, I'm kind of on her side now, uh, to be honest, because... Uh, I mean, it's a pretty good deal for me that they let me join and give me food and stuff like that without me actually being part of this village, right? They don't have to do this. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset for our cause. I will lend you one of our survey course satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. I like how hers tied more than the boy ones. That whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the least. Hey, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. The Galaxy Team's entry trial. Yeah, missions and requests, I know that. Pardon, Ligia. Ligia, come with me a moment. I wish we get the clothes before this. It would be way cooler looking if I choose the starter with those clothes on. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What did you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Lady absolutely must pass this trial. And as a Professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Crow! <laughs> Test pass! Go on, Ligia. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me. But it's plain to see you're rather curious about you. Uh, they're rather curious. <laughs> I'm not as curious about me myself. Well, my girl. I don't like that he always calls me my girl. That, that's strange. You would say that to your girlfriend, not your uh, pupil? Like them. Yeah, maybe. Which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Well, I asked Twitter and Twitter's have this. And I don't mind that. Please Splash! Do you want Oshawott as your first partner? Yes. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show, I've tucked Oshawott back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. I would love to paint the Pokeballs, that would be so cool. I would like them more than the stickers, to be honest. 
A word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Yeah, that sounds so easy, but I accidentally mix those up as uh, always. All the time. I, it's, it's a bit of getting used to the controls in this one. Because you have to switch with X between Pokeballs and Pokemon. Oh, well, items and Pokemon. And sometimes you're on Pokemon because you harvested a tree and want to throw a Pokeball, but throw your Pokemon. So, yeah. Happens. Nothing too bad. It's just a bit of getting used to. Cuckoo! Cool, cool. <laughs> Look at those two cheer on their pal Oshawott. Or maybe they just wanted to help Legia with her trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Legia fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. Crew! <sighs> by the by, what species has Captain Silene charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing! All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Put it in my butt. I could have moved that to the actual satchel, right? There's a fly in my room. Go away. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat. It's annoying. As you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you the way to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Meet me at the gate to your left as you leave headquarters. One thing I definitely want to show you in here. The starters, and like I said, routed would be up there. Are placed in here, which is really cool. And this is where Oshawott would be. And Cinderquill is the oven. I don't think it's in the oven. I think it is the oven. It doesn't even have a, a chimney. That's what I really wonder what this one is for. Th this is... I have... I don't have any idea. It's hard to get what this is supposed to... But, well, put in the leaves of Rowlet. Have Oshawott put water in it, and the flames come from Cinderquill, and that thing works. The question is, what else do you put in? <laughs> yeah, no use exploring this right now. There's a good point when you can start exploring the village. Right now, you cannot really go at it, because everything's closed off. So... We'll just move on and have our first thingy. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. Yeah, the main character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard you talk about you. you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you have a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So, what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Sounds good. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. So, I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reach zero. Well, the Pokemon he has is... Um, not that good. <laughs> yeah. I do like Togepi, but it is weak. I would say... It is pretty unusable, usable actually. Well, you could always do a challenge with it or something, but yeah. 
would you use a Togepi? You normally don't evolve your Pokemon. But that would be... Metronome? Or would you even evolve it? What do you think about Togetic and Togepiest? Moves, items, use them well and the world will open up to you. Level up. New move. I don't like that they tell us which move. That, 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 they that's, don't tell uh, that they don't tell us which move. That's kind of... Nah. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll er learn more moves and grow even stronger. Honestly, though, in this game, they could just say that battles don't give XP and you would be fine. <laughs> it's not that I feel all that overleveled, but you get XP for everything. Pokemon moves. Yeah, you can change moves anywhere now. Just from your menu. I like that. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. To be honest, I think in the end, with side quest stuff, we will pretty much fill this village up with everyone, or almost everyone, getting a Pokemon partner. And, and if that is the case, that is cool. Yeah, at any rate, let me help our two battles re battlers recover from their little exercise. And to you, my Skyfall friend, I present some potions in thanks. A topical, topical medicine meant to be applied to Pokemon. It can be used to restore 60 HP to a single Pokemon. They really have watered down potions in the future. Is 60 not the super potion even? So... Huh. So I did not miss anything, right? Yeah, okay. You can use them on your own Pokemon on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. Ah, I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly after all. Bye bye. If you can battle that well. I've got a feeling you may have your trial well in hand, even if it's more to do with catching than battling. Now to the Obsidian Fieldlands! Whenever you leave Jubilife's village, you have to pick a destination from your map and let Ress, the guardsman, know where you're off to. That way, someone can come collect you if things go wrong. Where did you find her? There, and there, and over there, and a little bit over there. <laughs> Things have gone wrong. <laughs> hey, I hope you make it through this. Your legia, correct? Oh, I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Why are the doors open all the time, though? Wouldn't that... Isn't that kind of... There should be smaller doors for people. It's not like there are a lot of people coming in and out. A small door would fit. And this one for bigger stuff like wagons and something. Right? Yeah. When they have to get some wood or something that you can't get through small doors. Because if a horde of Pokemon suddenly starts attacking the village... Yeah, closing the doors might be a task that's not doable anymore. So, yeah. This is our base camp, where we start and finish our surveys. Now, remember what you've got to do. You've been tasked with catching three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. I'm curious to see if the professor's stories about you are really true. Oh, Professor? Something wrong? Oh, well, you see, Captain Saline got hold of me after you left. 
she impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. She doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. <clears throat> Legia's talents are the real deal. She'll pass with flying colors. You'll see. Flying colors like red and blue and yellow and green and black and white. <laughs> so in other words, I'm still the one bearing the responsibility here. Not my ideal state of affairs. Let's just get started. You'll be more than equal to this, Ligia. But before I do that, I'm going on a little toilet break. I plan to stream for a bit longer, so... Yeah, normally I would hold on that half hour, but... And I'm back. So, I should have gone into the menu. Whoops. I'd say, let's go. This is Aspiration Hill. Looking pretty nice, right? The Obsidian Fieldlands. Look, a Bidoof! We're finding the... The Pokemon you have to catch or something. You may be some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what Captain Silene taught me. Yeah, focusing... Bidoof is a mellow Pokemon, which means it doesn't tend to run away when you approach. And carefully, let your Pokemon fly, and you ought to be alright. And nobody tried catching, like, three Bidoof at least? So, somebody actually would have done that? Okay. Turn around, turn around. Also, the aiming, I'm not really using that. I think I can aim just fine like this. That works for me. I was trying to catch that beat of you. Dumble beef. <laughs> it was just in the perfect position for that. And you destroyed that. That kind of makes me angry now. One bit of caught. Now on we march. Dum, 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 da, 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 dum, dum, dum. Let's march. 
I want to get that thingy. That's not. You can actually. What are you? I wanted to come back. Why are you stopping me? You can throw your Pokemon at this and they will harvest it. That works as well. So there's a Starly. Now, Starly here, it's the type to run at the drop of a hat. They don't have claws on their feet. Strange. But not to worry, crouch down in the grass and it won't spot you. That's how you can get close. I mean, birds don't have claws for hunting. Well, hunting birds have claws for hunting as well, sure, but... Also, those that eat... Pl Are there even herbivore plants? Uh, herbivore birds? I think they are, right? Yeah. yeah, but they wouldn't... They do need those claws to, well, stay on the tree. Fire. My shaky, shaky, shaky mind doesn't work in this game. <laughs> and that's the Holly card too. I admit, I'm impressed so far. Yeah, and for Shinx, we have to battle. Which we don't, because there's a way to catch them without battling, but they won't let me, probably. I forgot to share another smidgen of wisdom. How to throw your partner's Pokeball. To quote Captain Silene's wise teachings, have an item at the ready, but want to send out a Pokemon, press X to doubt. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item, press X. The captain's a real expert on these things. Oh, an expert! <laughs> <laughs> then once you've got a Pokemon ready, Try aiming for certain rocks. Or trees like this one. This is not a tree. I do hope that you can actually not tell if it's a tree or a pseudo -woodo. Your Pokemon will hunt for berries and things. And it'll bring back whatever it finds. Like I already did just now. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. First off, if you tell me I can harvest those trees, then let me. So where is that Shinx? You will talk to me again, right? You will. There it is, Shinx. <gasps> it's so intimidating. <clears throat> Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Did you know that already? Yep, totally. I always thought Jinx are more tame. That figures. Me, I have to focus on a Pokemon carefully to notice a thing like that. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they'll knock away any balls you throw. Yeah. I know. But not to worry, I teach you the trick to catching them. You draw them into battle. Once it's caught up in the heat of battle, you can throw a Pokeball to try and catch it. You've got a few Pokemon of your own to use now, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it at a wild Pokemon you want to battle. Use what you learned in your battle with Volo. Get out there and make your last catch. I try catching it without battling, but I don't think it actually works. Uh, it has seen me immediately, so... Okay, I can use one that is not weak to it or two that are weak to it well let's go with aqua jet bam that's about half let's just hope we don't kill it the crit okay good oh yeah press y to see the the action order Throw a Pokeball, as you can move around in battles. Which I always forget, because it doesn't do anything. <laughs> but you can. I caught a Shinx. Wait, did you really? 
You really did? You did it? That, that's three species of Pokemon caught. You really are some kind of prodigy. You must have given Professor Leventon the shock of his life. First you fall from the sky, then you go and catch all of our escape Pokemon, one after another. I honestly didn't believe the professor's story until I saw you in action for myself. Still doesn't mean that I really fell from the sky. And here you are with three Pokemon caught. You've completed your trial. Oh, I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Legia. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a com commemorative photograph. I've got to admit, it's true you've got real talent for this. Now then. We'd best report to Captain Salim. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? Let's go back. Also, we have to give our little friend a nickname. I won't necessarily nickname every Pokemon. But those that will be on the team will get names. Because you actually catch a lot of Pokemon. Eventually, you should be able to have Pokemon you've caught to go live in the village pastures. The most Pokemon a person can have with them while out exploring is six, apparently. Not that we have anyone who can manage that. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Saline awaits your re our report at the headquarters. I can't wait to see the captain's reaction. My ass looks like it's looking at me. Okay, let's give our little Osha Wata a nickname. Change name. It's a little guy with a little shell blade. So, let's call it Shellade. That's a cool name, right? Yeah, you're Shellade. It could actually be a Pokemon on its own, but. Okay. Let's go to Silene. That does a bit sound strange. What are you doing? Writing. Writing. Okay, I think it's a brush, not a hanko. It's a very square brush. Very square brush. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. And congratulations. One question though, Sidine. What happened to your eyebrows? You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. Ah, that sounds awful. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Thank you. Get changed in the room you used last night. Then you're to report at once to the third floor. <sighs> Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Do I have to do that in my room or can I do that at the clothing lady? Because you can, you don't actually have to go back into your room all the time. Yeah, no. I thought as much. Yeah. Change outfit. Okay, we want some different eye colors. 
No, not gray, green. I have green as a boy. I would like red. It's fucked over. Red, red. Black, no, yellow. Pink. Purple. Ultramarine, yellow, green. Lavender, ice. Poppy red. White. Well, no, orange, so I go for pink. My third favorite color, which... Mm, that's not pink. <laughs> that, that's purple. Uh, is poppy red better? No, white. I still think we go for the pink ones. Yeah. And cervical uniform. Yes. Oh, she has two ants on her staff. Well, the boy probably has as well, but you cannot see it both. You need to put on your cervical... Oh, I forgot the sandals. Whoops, I mean... Wait! She does! Put off the... Uh, put off the shoes? Is that right? Put on your shoes, put off your shoes. Yeah, put off your shoes sounds kind of wrong, right? But it should be right. What? She does, but only in her own ho house, it seems. Strange. Ta da! Here we go. <laughs> Look at you in the cervical uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. But I do wonder when the captain decided to go ahead and get a uniform ready for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Oh, I get my hat now. Oh, well, bandana in her case. Now present yourself to the commander. Okay, one thing I want to do before. Is something I have forgotten. What did I want to do? Uh, uh. Yes, yeah, settings. I think the Pokemon cries are way too too low in volume, so I put those up to ten. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, let's explore the building quickly before we go up there. That's all. Nothing here. Only closed doors. That goes for every. What the? No, I didn't mean that. But can I respond those? The, they are the shadows of the lambs. What the? Okay, graphically this game looks simultaneously pretty good and pretty ugly. I like the game. I lo really love the game so far. But, I mean, credit where credit is due and critique where critique is due. And it can look so ugly at times. For example... Look at the wallpaper. That looks pretty nice, right? It's crisp and everything. Crisp enough for the Switch, it is. Also, the logo on my uniform, that looks really nice, right? Mm -hmm. On my uniform, it does. At this point. At this point. The other ones, no. They tend to look bad. Oh, his po this looks good as well. It's all over the place. They... It needs some more polish, but only in the graphical s sense, so I don't mind it being released now. I'd rather have it released now than wait a month just for some graphical stuff. But only some textual stuff could have been fixed. Yeah, yeah. It's not that bad. It doesn't take the enjoyment away, but yeah, it could have been better. 
But it's Game Freak. It's not the biggest developer. And don't get at me with they have so much money. Game Freak does not have that much money. That's the Pokemon company and Nintendo. Game Freak actually works on a pretty low budget. And they have like only 100 employees or something. That's not that much for making high caliber games like this. If you're short on items, craft more yourself. If you want to craft new items, collect recipes. A trusty satchel is a must if you want to gather lots of materials for crafting. You should speak to Buggin. He'll teach you how to pack even more into that satchel of yours. Oh, right. He did say that. But who's Buggin? Oh, not Buggin. It's back in. Lol. His name is a lol. Okay, that's it down here. Look the stairs. Why are they so mushy looking? That's a what's the, the, the That's like N64 right next to PS3. I wish some PS4 would be Well, the wallpaper is kind of PS4ish. No, no, it's not. Not really. But but why just have it be one thing. Uh, we were already here. We have not looked here. If you've been attacked by a Pokemon, you can always go to a base camp to rest. You're part of the survey corps now, right? You should craft your own potions. Well... Sure, crafting is the thing... In reality, it's not something you just learn via recipe. Crafting some healing potion can go dangerously wrong, I would say. Look at mushrooms, for example. Well, those aren't with healing properties, but there are mushrooms that, that are edible. That grow right besides mushrooms that look almost the same, that are very poisonous. You would take a long time to learn how to distinguish those two. It's a brave new land we're living in, which means there's a whole lot to do. Oh, they don't do it in here. I don't know if it's on purpose, but it seems like they're referencing that... Was it the first Pokemon Johto opening? Uh, I don't even know the English lyrics to it. But something like, it's a whole new world we live in. It sounds a lot like that opening in German. I was wondering if that was the case in English as well, but it doesn't sound like it. Oh look, bats. Pokemon are full of mysteries. I hope you can help us solve them. An Eevee! Also, the cries are... old school as well. Wait a minute. Wasn't the Eevee in my playthrough female? I'm pretty sure it was female. Is that because I'm a boy? Oh. Maybe we ought to build some spare lodgings in case anyone else falls out of the sky. Yeah, that one, I wonder if that is hinting something. Like, more people getting into the village. They are building something at this, around this. It's like they're making it bigger. That, that headquarter stuff here. Maybe they are just fixing the walls. Or they're just fixing the walls. Or, well, cleaning the windows, maybe. I have been waiting for you. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. <sighs> so you are Legia. It's an honor. You know your manners, at least. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. With diamonds. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Try to throw him.
Ja! Ähm. Oh, I'm already down. I thought I was coming down. Hm. You've got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. Technically, the white in the black in the blue. The blue that adds has some white in it because of clouds. The superstitious among us might see uh, your arrival as a portent of disaster. I'm not an Absol. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may be seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Legia. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. He seems like the, some guy like Elder who actually trains with his Pokemon himself. Oh well. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Wasn't that a one star? No. Did you say it? Okay. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer toward that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. A recipe for crafting Pokeballs. A recipe for crafting Pokeballs from scratch. Yeah, I don't read those. They don't really say anything. And 3,000 Pokedollar as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Thank you. Ray, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Yes, ma'am, Captain. Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Crafting means making items from scratch. That's right. Whatever you need in your survey work, you mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's good to try to be self-sufficient. This way, we can even catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we've crafted ourselves. I still wonder how a Pokeball like this can happen. Well, the shell obviously is the Aprikoko. Uh, the, the, not Aprikoko. That's the German term. Uh, what? Apricot. But the stone becomes that thing on the top, the explosive inside that there is somewhere. That, that, right? Right? That's strange. But listen to me prattle on. Let's go to the craft works so you can try it yourself. Let's go crafting. But I want to change my hairstyle first. Well done on earning a place on, on our team. My name is Ante. I'm the local clothier. The professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. An everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village humble shops. Hey, hey, this way to the craft works. This is actually a pretty good place to explore the village. Now, who might you be? I haven't seen you here in the village before. Yeah, you can buy some stuff. 
I hear the village pastries will take care of any Pokemon you catch. Wait, we have to go on the other side of here. With you. Beauregard. Okay. Does Beauregard mean anything or is that just a French name? Looks like you got some skills, kid. Good thing, too. It's dangerous outside the village. Some Pokemon prefer rainy days, you know. Me, I just stay inside and enjoy a nice nap. Give the survey call your all, you hear? After all, we've no food for freeloaders. Welcome, young lady. What can I help you with today? Hairstyling. Also, yes, like in previous games, you have to pay before you can have a look at what there is. I wonder if anyone at Game Freak, Game Freak actually plays games. Because that's... It doesn't seem like it. Oh, I haven't noticed those pictures up there. Of people. Oh. Okay, let's see what I can do with her. Short. No, I don't like short hair. I don't like it on me, I don't like it on women. Long. Well, that's just my normal hairstyle. Wait. Did the boy have an... Cervical hairstyle... Explicitly? Shorn? No. Curled? Braids? Uh... Uh, yeah, then I just keep the survey slate, gold, white. Uh, I like the gold kind of for her. For now, at least. And the white eyebrows? No. Not them black. Honestly, no, no, I think actually the black one looks better, the hair. So I did not change anything. And yes, it won't be different. She even states that. But you still have to pay. That sucks. Oh, don't present it to me like that. That really sucks. And so the first one could be free, just... Why not? Let's have a look at the clothes. Oh yeah, the special parcels. Modern jacket, trousers and shoes. Only that? Shouldn't I get more? You didn't play the other game. If you have saves from the other games, you got the mask and stuff. So they have to be on your account, not on the Switch. Yeah. As always. Oh, of course. Okay, let's have a look at clothing. Uh. Wait. Wait, couldn't I have a look at how it looks? Because of your hairstyle. My current outfit. Yeah, I can have a look. Why doesn't it? I think because of the hairstyle. The hairstyle includes the uh, the bandana thing. Okay. So you can't wear any head stuff. And you can't even look at it to see if you want to change your head style for this. That sucks. Mm -hmm. Why are they doing that? 
Tangerine, Indigo, Amethyst. Uh, yeah, the clothes. No. Do I want some of those? No, I don't want a Karateki. Hmm. I would like different sandals, so go. I think I'm going for tangerine. Yes. Yes, come on. Okay, I will change my my uh yeah, so, I don't know that the boy can actually just take the cap off the boy's cap is not included in the hairstyle he just puts it on his normal hair We're fine. Still come visit my humble shop again. Normally I'm disappointed in what the boy can wear, but this time it's the female one I'm disappointed in. I mean, we have seen that there's better stuff. It just needs to be unlocked, I guess. But we did see that there is much better stuff. We just have to get to the right point. For it to unlock. Okay. Hello, you two boys. Fox come here to Hisui because there's no place for him back home. Wow, you caught a Pokemon? Okay. Ever considered preserving a lovely memory with your Pokemon as a photograph? Come on in and give it a try. Let's do that. I could do one for every stream and use those as my thumbnails. With a different Pokemon. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Have fun. I'm in the business of photographing folk with their Pokemon. Why not have your photo taken? Uh, prepare Pokemon. Shall I eat? Definitely. Change the screen. Hmm. Let's go for pink. Okay, let's take that, but what? Do they have orange? Yeah, they call that a pink screen. Where's that pink? I know it would be Momo in Japanese, but even that wouldn't fit. This is what pink is on my screen here, but... Is that my screen, then? Oh, well. Let's take orange. Yeah, that's a bit too yellow for my taste, but... I can live with that. Uh, no, I don't want to ta change the lens. So you wanted to see if we can pose it. Change your pose. Okay. Direct your Pokemon. Act. Yes. Look fierce. Yes. But, uh, when you talk directly to your Pokemon. I'm looking fierce. Look happy. I am talking directly to my Pokemon. Go to sleep. Oh! 
Act Dizzy. Pretend to faint. Oh no. I want to have a go happy. I want to catch a specific moment in that. Okay, now change your pose. Arms folded. Uh, I would like to move around, please. Arms folded. Behind my back. No. One arm out. Mm. What do we else? Confident pose. Okay. Thumbs up. <laughs> she looks so uninterested. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can change the face. We don't. We cannot forget that. At the ready. Oh, okay, cool. Braced for battle. Oh, even cooler. Over the shoulder. Like that. Hero pose. <laughs> Sitting plainly. Oh, there! We get a uh, bank. Not a bank. Bench. Bench. No, hero pose, definitely. Change your expression. Neutral, delighted, smiling, surprised, troubled, angry, serious, vacant. Oh boy, that's vacant. Thinking. Okay. Let's go with serious. Also, my Pokemon stopped. Uh, did not continue. Start shooting. Now, get the right moment. Okay, we take the first one we take. I don't know if I got the right moment, but that will be our thumbnail. Yes, stop taking photos. So, let's have a look at it. Why not? Uh, that's the eShop. We don't want to go into the eShop. And have a look at it and see what we got. I missed the right moment. Oh, well. Let's post that right away so I can use that. Yeah, I will do this later next time. This takes too long. Okay, I'll Twitter post. That's German for post on Twitter. Okay. Well, here we go. I like the idea with the thumbnails. History is positively bursting with Bidoof and lots of other Pokemon besides. It's no exaggeration to say this land belongs to them, really. I just don't think humans are ready to settle here yet. Okay, let's go to the other side of the village later because he's waiting there. Let's do him. They say hunger is the best seasoning, but I'd rather rely on the quality of my soup food roots to make my potato not too tasty. Okay, so we can get to Ray for the last part. This annoying fly here in the room is annoying. <clears throat> and makes me want to say bad things. The pace just how the many Pokemon you catch. Collect them from here to change up your party. Do you have some Pokemon you'd like to leave here with me? No, i rather keep those three on my team. But yeah, they actually would walk around here. Which is kind of cool. I wonder if the fish will float around. Look, they're building some more stuff here, right? That definitely will evolve later into more buildings. 
I'm pretty sure. I'm feeling a bit hungry. So whenever you have the time. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna eat on stream. So. I will stream for at least one hour more. If not two. I came here all the way from Hoan. But this land has nothing in it. Yeah. And Hoan has too much water. Huh. Take that. This is my homeland, presumably. And you don't say that about it. Your survey core lot are amazing. I mean, you catch all these strange Pokemon like it's nothing. Oh no, it's Yota! <laughs> oh, Yota, but... <laughs> uh, I think I should explain that he probably is not known in English. I'm better for that. Basically, that guy is a German YouTuber that... Sucks. It sucks hard. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, you're from the Survey Corps. Well then. Can you tell me how Pokemon make themselves so shiny? Tiny? Not shiny. I am wondering about shiny Pokemon though, because how this works, you should be able to see them on map, right? Good luck, new recruit. Show us what you're made of. Or oh, there are no shiny in here at all. Might also be the case. Everyone has problems and worries of their own. You should lend an ear to the people you meet. You young sprouts can't hold a candle to me, but I'll leave the service to you, Missy. Bread? bread? It's amazing that Captain Silene has acknowledged your potential. So you've joined the survey corps. Don't forget to carry some berries and potions with you. Oh, she does take her shoes off in other people's houses. Have you heard? That's a really nice detail. Okay. Nobody in you know every house has someone in them. You've passed your trial, I hear. Goodness, are you going to start catching all kinds of Pokemon now? That's the plan, my lady. That's the plan. And in here we go. As well. So you're the survey course news member. Let's both do our best for the sake of the village. You're not scared of Pokemon? Oh, there's someone in place. When you encounter a wild Pokemon, the first thing you should do is focus on it. Oh, there's someone on the bridge. Also, you can investigate how this bridge is called. The other one you can't for some reason. I don't know. It's strange, but well. I'm pretty new to the village myself. I try to talk to everyone I meet, so I always learn something new. Wait, he's called Bellamy. We also have a Beauregard in it. Those are already two characters from One Piece. Strange. But probably just a coincidence. But a pirate-themed evil team in Pokemon would be interesting. Maybe in a more Caribbean region. That would be cool. Welcome to the team. My grandpa Tao Hua is in change of the supply corps. Perhaps you'll work together at some point. I guess you are from Alola with that name? Oh well. In we go. You have Pokemon with you? Wow! And they don't attack you? 
I find every last mushroom there is in Hisui. So you find every last Pokemon there is, pal. I heard Pokemon can grow big. And there's also a mushroom, mushroom that makes you grow big. Oh, wait. There are also mushrooms that make your Pokemon big. I was... I, I meant Super Mario with that. But it's actually working with Pokemon as well. Okay. You're a newcomer, right? Okay, your name is Gully. Um, yeah. Uh, Gully in German is... Uh, uh, the, the, the water system stuff. The, the, the what? Sewer? No. Yeah, the sewers. It leads to the sewers. The, the, the... Ah, I know the word. Yeah, the lids that lead to the source. Let's keep it at that. If you have to go out and get close to Pokemon, you'd better do it stealthily. I am stealthy. I cleared so many stuff, so much stuff in Assassin's Creed without being seen. I am stealth itself. You're going to serve a Pokemon, huh? Going to find out all the ways. They're terrifying. I mean, you're not terrified of Pokemon. You seem kind of hateful. That's not nice. Also, how can you be terrified of a Bidoof? Passed your trial, have you? I'm impressed you can approach Pokemon. I just turn and run from those scary beasts. Yeah, they kind of feel more hateful than afraid of Pokemon, to be honest. Thank you very much. Making yourself a cappuccino. Okay. And enter. This might be the slowest teaching I have ever done. Hello there, Survey Corps recruit. Please to count you as a team. If there's a place you're hoping to visit, you ought to stretch out your map and put a pin in it. Take a quick bite. Okay, we can go in here now. And onto the field. Gotta expand these here fields to help feed all the new folk coming to the village. It's tough picking berries out in the wild, so I'm hoping we can grow them here instead. Yeah, that's a cool thing you can do, actually. Here to grow some crops, are you? No way to tell how you, the yield be, but we'll give it our all. What kind of harvest are you interested in? Apricorns. I think apricorns are always a good thing, thing to go for. Yes, sounds great. Thank you. Perfect. We'll get right onto it. So, planted some apricorns. Wait. Move. Oh, there's someone else. It's Leaf the Reef! You know. We had people back in Kanto who were also were able to tame Pokemon. They knew what they were doing in battles too. So why are you afraid then if that is a known thing? Strange. If you spot a berry tree, have your Pokemon go gather some berries from it. No matter the circumstance, you can't be at your best if you don't eat. That's why there's always time to cook. Hi. Oh, making yourself a... Uh, granola. Is that a granola? I mean, it's not cornflakes. That's for sure. I 
hear you passed the trial. They were talk of the town, you know. Never runs a flutter about how s such a suspicious... I mean, how such a strong-looking stranger actually passed the trial to join the team. This works. Oh, I forgot to cut. Except for people who can't hear other people, too. <laughs> I don't know if it picks it up. You tell me. But I think I'm a pretty silent tour. Serious? Hmm. Throwing Pokeballs is all well and good. You just don't throw away your life, kid. Pet series, so that's not a good match. So you're the new recruit from the Survey Corps. Cat, behave. <coughs> now I'm busy doing that. <coughs> Don't slack off on making that Pokedex of yours. The music in this game is pretty nice. Lucille sells various protective charms that come in handy when you're out exploring the wilds. I'm here to give thanks to the guardian of this shrine. Who watches over all in Jubilife Village. And you, child, if you're here with a prayer for the shrine, perhaps my charms can help. Tell me, what is your wish? I would probably buy the good health one, but not now. The Galaxy team is made up of several cores. Let's see. There's the Security, Construction and Agriculture Core. And a few others beside. I don't know why they chose the Togepi as the mascot for the trading stuff, but I do love this art style. That would be a good sticker for you, right? Hmm? I think it's maybe more for the... Uh, Thank you, points or whatever they're called here. Okay, yeah. Should we access both now? Not yet. Hmm. But I could uh, see that being the case. Might be. Hmm? Just a oh. When Pokemon react to you by attacking, are you making sure you dodge their moves? I don't think I have learned to dodge yet. No, I have not. Alola! And that is everything that needs to be said. I only lately found a home here too. Glad to have you. And finally, the story. This here's the craft works, and that there is the workbench. It's where you craft things. Pretty self explanatory, right? It looks like. Dangarompa crew was slaughtering something there. <laughs> I don't know why everything has this pinkish stuff on it. It's a strange trader. When you step up to the workbench, I'll supply you materials to make some Pokeballs. Call it a present to celebrate passing your trial. And as for the money the captain gave you, feel free to spend that however you like. Any recipes you sh could you get should tell you what materials you need to complete them. At the workbench, just choose Sorry. <laughs> Just choose what you want to make and get crafting. Go on, try it out. Let's try it out. Make all the Pokeballs. Oh. 
Oh, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. You recall, of course, that Pokemon possessed the earth power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. Yes. Alright, I have a team now. Pokedex, a volume for compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research. Professor Leventon continually adds to it with each report you made on new Pokemon species. No, only Osha what? And that? Chalade. Yeah. yeah. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. I take plenty of research tasks to help the professor complete the Pokedex. I've got to get going on those myself. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the field lands camp whenever you're ready, my good Legia. I will. Hmm? Oops. Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post. But I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. I do want to talk about it. Hey, so there's this wild Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? No. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Leventon and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. And so I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just get me a Wurmple if you can. I will, if I can. You're that newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have to get out and about to compile that Pokedex book they're working on, right? Well, on, our, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I feel simply full. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. I will. I won't take on those requests if I wouldn't. I know Shanks' ears had odd markings on the on the insides, but what are they? Were they? No use. I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the survey corps? If you catch a Shinx, would you show it to me? I've got to see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. I mean, we could give him the Shinx we have on our team right now. But I'd like to keep that one. So let's catch more for him. Mm, I'm eating my stuff in the dust. No. Oh. I'm not used to eating like this. I like that little shadowy fi figure and the landscape behind it. That's a nice loading screen. Mm. 
right -o. let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my girl. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference anytime. Yeah, the research tasks. Love this gameplay element. This is so awesome. I'm a sucker for these things. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you gain research points and other rewards for your work. Now, there's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share, Legia. Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time. When they do, dodge like your life depends on it. Come again. Look, just watch me, would you? Then you'll be able to copy what I do. Here I go. Well, you just have to look at it and then you can copy it perfectly like he does. So I will show that. No, I can't do that. <laughs> Especially not in this room. That would need some more space. Not that this room is small, but yeah, not big enough. <laughs> See, that's how you dodge. A timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by the fierce attacks of a wild Pokemon. And that's key if you'd rather not end up blacked out in some field like I did. When those Shinx got me with Thundershock, I might have been done for if the security corps hadn't come and saved me. But hey, no need to worry. You've got me here to give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. Okay. Let's get some Pokemon. Let's all harvest some stuff. An ore first, so that he's out of the way. Let's talk to him. Let get ready for some survey core wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, then press the down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what tasks you have for that Pokemon. Did you see that your research tasks for Bidoof include one about how many you've got? That's right, catching just one won't do it. You've got to get two, then four, and then more and more. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the Cappy's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want, I'll go on ahead. You have to catch a lot of Pokemon without being seen, so grass is your friend. As well as the B button for crouching, of course. Another one, B, Dope Stash. looking at us. Didn't see you coming. And another one. Except the cheesecake with the cheesecake luck. I might eat them later. But eat your half if you want. Okay, later after the stream, I think. 
I know I'm laying it on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. Yeah, that's what I meant by having each tutorial twice or thrice. Yeah, sc Starly, without being spotted, I'm gonna skip through this a bit. He just talks too much. It's not really too much. The, s the texts are actually nicely short other than other Pokemon titles had them but there are a lot of them no, no, well not a lot directly but a lot of them are the same is what I want to say and that's annoying <laughs> you don't have to catch a shin still which can be found like there Okay, turn this back to us. Surprise attack! Okay, we did not get that one. It's not coming after us. Did you get that guy watching? I think he just looked at us and then took us back. Oh wait, right, he doesn't, doesn't want to have it. I'm not sure. Let's try you again. Nope, that was too far away. Okay. Please stop looking at me. There's no grass here. That makes this harder. Yeah, growl, you little cutie. Oh, it's going to sleep. That's even better. Okay, why didn't that Pokeball work? Well then, that's battle. We do have to defeat some as well. And hit Mr. Quick Attack. So... Akuba Jet! Now ah, yeah. And the walking around stuff. Can I go between the Pokemon? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> No, it turns around. Just, like that. Just turns around. I think it's aware in that state. As yeah, you can just throw your Pokemon at it and walk away, and it's fine. I do like that. And you can actually go quite the distance with that. Yeah, I don't think I was here before. Turn around, maybe? Little guy? What were Shink's tasks? Do I... I do need to defeat some, okay, yeah, but... Catching, of course. They can see me. There's no problem with that, but, well, I have to battle them if they see me, so, yeah. Ah, okay. We got that one. That's nice. How far can you go there? don't think we can go up here. That's probably off the limits. Okay, we just hit an invisible wall. Then it would be better if it, I would just slide down the mountain. I can also do more Pokemon at once, but most of the time it's not really working because they're fast. Which is good. Which is good. Shouldn't that have hit? Hmm. Oh well. 
Actually, yeah, I'm normally one who collects everything he finds, however... In this game, there's a lot of stuff lying around and you start skipping some of that. Floro Gardens. Like Floroma Town, huh? Also, what was that cry? Did you hear that? Why can you see that tree? What? What is that cry? It does sound big, but... I wonder... Yeah, Wampo. Oh yeah, I'm not good with Pokemon cries. I don't recognize most of them. We got a Sakoon before even getting a Rompo. That's a Wampo. Oh, there's something I like to see. Quite the progress already. In a very different way than I did. But that's the beauty of this game. It's not completely open world, but it's the open world kind I like. And I would call it an open area thing. What is going on there? So, can we get one? They shouldn't be all that strong because, well, they are just beauty flies. It got out. It has not seen me. Yeah, it's fleeing. But I wanna see what this is. It's like fresh out of sight poster. Yeah. Wait, something is seeing me? Oh they are attacking me? Then I fight you. Let's see if you can live a thunder shock. If yes, I will catch you. Oh, they are level 20. Not expecting them to be so high. Not good for Shinx. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. Let's try a gust and then we'll see. In the yellow. Um, Bidoof. Catch it. Maybe we get lucky. I think that worked. It worked. We have a level 20 Pokemon now. So what? We have to faint it now, however. Uh, I will remove them. I one is doubled and but Yeah, but it will take some time, so I don't know. Do you want them in or not? Yeah, put them in for now. Okay. What do you okay. have in here? Uh please. Uh, yeah. Two 
please get away from me. I am followed by a butterfly. I'm so afraid. Hmm. Doesn't really sound right. I'm just level 20 butterfly. This work? Nice. I do have to see where I throw it. that important what's up there i don't even know what you can do with that it's some kind of metal it probably has something that you can do with it this is a crappy game at all at least a little bit hard Demo. Oh, that's not good. Uh, uh, frenzied Luxray, or is this, is this the second evolution? I don't, I'm not really sure. We don't want to encounter that. Not with our team. Yeah, in the end, taking Oshawa is kind of hard mode. Uh, what's this? Wood! From beta maps? I caught another wall though. But I'm technically looking for star leaf. Part three of three. Oh, hello. I must not see you there. Okay, let's look for some Starly now. That's the thing. Mm. Oh, that part is missed. Oh, well. There's a rare stone there, but I can't go over the bridge right now. No, you need one star for that. I'm still in the main quest before that. Uh, that. Yeah. I mean, I can try. I do want to get the Starly to Mac. This is, by the way, how you can overlevel easily in this game, I think. <laughs> I don't know how easily, but... Well. Is everyone sleeping? No, it's not. There. Oh, I was just catching something. Oh, 
Hmm. Don't teleport in the middle of catching something. Wait. You can switch up your Pokemon with him. I didn't even recognize there was someone like him here. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Okay, this changes a lot. So I'm taking. No, I want. I don't have a meal. Um, yeah, I'm still taking Pichu. Um, yeah. Yeah. If I'm gonna use a Raichu, which I probably want, to be honest, I will catch another one for that. Because I don't like the female one with the cut of the tail. And. I was wondering in a different direction, but don't have much more variety than I had in my normal playthrough as well. Strange. So, let's get a Wurmple in. Oh no. Have you seen that? Wurmple left. No, no, not now. Okay. Here's my Pokemon, and now talk to the professor. Uh, the, the yeah. Okay. okay, we have but to follow Ray. Okay, no. We can return to Jubilee Life, but he doesn't take our tasks. And so let's go to Ray then. We have to do that someday. No more Starlies here. I rid the world of all the Starlies. I could catch a Mr. Mime and call it Nu. Yeah, you're right, that would be a good idea. When he's in chat next time, I can show him. I can name his favorite Pokemon after him. I'm such a nice guy. I still haven't managed to catch that big weasel. Okay. What are you telling me? Around here you can find a Pokemon called Buizel. It's got an aggressive disposition. That means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle to it to catch it. We'll see about that. Actually, you can make a battleless run in this one. Well, except for some battles you have to do, like bosses and stuff, but... Yeah. Right? Yeah. Ugh. <coughs> well, <coughs> I inhaled a crump. <laughs> can you refill my cup by chance? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I know the damage stuff. And speaking of which, your research tasks for Buizel include seeing it use a certain move. You gotta see the move in battle for it to count towards that task. So battling is extra key here. Yeah, but you can do that with your own Buizel, which is way easier. Also, those Buizel, I think, don't have that move right now. <laughs> I'm going on ahead. Come catch up once you've checked off some of Buizel's tasks. I will. I do want to make poke balls. Can I actually? Do I have the key item? No, I don't. That's bad. I think you get that the next time I talk to him. Okay, he wants me to battle in this case. I do have to battle this one. No, that's strong style. Tackle! Bam! Oh, that doesn't look good. That's a lot of damage. Throw a Pokeball. Bam! Firework away. Thought about taking Weasel on the team, but no, not with my water starter. <laughs> that does not make sense. I can get some more with the Pokemon I have remaining. Now that I'm here.
Oh no, 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 I don't want to battle you. I want to battle without battle. It's kind of more fun that way. Where did it go? Where did it come from? Seriously, where did it go? It seems to have vanished. Oh. Strange. Well. Guess I won't get that one then. Huh, okay. Well, there's a video. There's a tree that I can harvest. Another tree I can harvest. Yeah, I'm a boogie. Right on the head. Oh, it broke out. Oh, good. Wait, wait. It showed me that it should hit. Agile style. Bam. Yeah, we can do one more. What? Oh. Thanks again, Chat KDV, for hosting me. Much appreciated. That's cool. Try a Pokeball now. Bam! Does this work? Yes, it works. We caught a Buizel. And it dropped a medicinal leaf. Number of large specimen caught. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. That looks good. Yes. The higher it hops, the lesser catch rate you have, it seems. There is that rapid dash around here somewhere, I think. Should watch out. Okay, you harvest those. And I think I'm gonna aim for some more star leaf. If I can find some. There. Oh, that's not a rapid dash. We can go for this one. A blue Pokemon is also nice to have. But we got it! There's that rapid dash. I mean, it makes sense that we are finding Tonita as well here. That rapid dash, by the way, is level 40. So. That's why we better not get seen by it. So much for going for Starly. <laughs> but I think we might have enough for the Pokedex stuff to be complete. Turn around, please, maybe. Not you, Bidoo. Well, you can turn around as well, I don't mind that, but I don't want to catch you.
I think that was cool. Bam. We caught it. We'll get those stones there as well. Now some things here. But we don't have crossbows right now. Close. And I don't know, with my team I don't feel very comfortable against Shinx. So yeah. The best starter I think you can take here is actually the grass type starter. If you want it easy, because it's not even really strong against the stuff you find. Well, the bu it's strong against the Buizel, sure, but... It's at least resisting the electric types you encounter, and fire doesn't really give you an advantage. It's weak against the weasels, of course, but with the water stuff, yeah, you have a lot of stuff against that one. <laughs> it feels that way, at least. I lost track of where I'm going. Uh, where's my goal? There's my goal. Oh, I was going pretty far away from it even. Oops. I'm so glad the grass doesn't make you slower. That would be annoying. Okay, now he gives me the tutorial that I should harvest those trees, which I already harvested. So, what are you gonna say about that? <laughs> You're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger from the sky. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. Might as well keep on getting some more Pokemon. <laughs> a kit containing everything you might need for crafting. Even when there's no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. Stop, makes sense. And he... Sorry? And here's a recipe for potions, too. Thank you. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using whatever materials are in your satchel. So long as you've got an apricorn and a tumblestone, you can make a pokeball anytime. Or with an orange berry and a medicinal leak, you can whip up a potion, so heal up your Pokemon whenever they need healing. Oh, the time flies! It's already nine. Yeah, I think we do the story stuff and then... I think that's good for today. I mean, I, I could go on for more hours, but I want it to be too long. So... Soonish, you can look for someone to raid. Research going alright? You can see if you've got tasks ready to turn in on the Pokedex cover. 44! <laughs> okay. Once you've got some tasks good and done, go check in with Professor Leventon. See you soon. Okay. Yeah, let's make some Pokeballs. I just wish there was some kind of sh shortcut for that. But it does not seem there is. I can do 63 Pokeballs! Well, why not? Apricorns aren't that rare. Gladly. It would be awful if they were. Whoop, there's a Starly. I wanna have that. Or not see me doing it. Maybe the heart is doing the trick. Why can't I catch those Starly?
Where are you going? Oh no, it did see me. Is this out? No. No, no, it definitely has seen me. Oh, we have to go there. Yeah, let's go there. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And let's harvest this one. And that one. And of course that tree. Problems to be seen right now. Huh? Okay. Just thought I heard something. Exploration hill. And here's the base camp. So, Leventon? Oh ho, if it is a crafting kit. You must have listened attentively to Ray's teachings. Excellent work, dear girl. This seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. Well, on that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed thus far. That's everything? It felt like way more. Well, it was 30 Pokemon. Giving me almost 5,000 Poké Dollars. Mm hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokédex with this new data. Okay, we have Oshawott complete. This Pokemon from the Unova region, they mention it even, uses the shell on its belly as a weapon to cut down its foes. Thus, I've conferred upon this shell the name Skelchop. We did finish Starly. They live in the fields and mountains, gathering in large flocks. Their cries are quite obnoxious. Though small, their wings are strong. A strike from them leaves pain that persists for weeks. We completed Pichu? We caught only two. Okay, one was small without being spotted. And during daylight. I guess that was pretty lucky. Pichu stores electricity in the sex on its cheeks, but discharges it inadvertently when agitated or excited. Being yet immature, the Pokemon's handling of electricity is rather inept. Okay, the others we have not finished. Not close. Some are close. Okay, okay. 980 points earned. You've made good progress on these research tasks, Legia. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Sarin. It's time you earned yourself a star. Star you or star me? Okay. I see you can take your Pokemon out like this and talk to it. That's really cute. It does not follow you though. Just returns. Oh, well, that's fine. The civilization here is not far enough for the color stuff. Want some? I do follow Silver Beam here. Yeah, why not? Oh yeah, that one would be also good. He's a bit smaller, right?
that's the plan. Okay. From Pokemon to Digimon, that's kind of beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. Take the one with the uh, viewer. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition. Use heavy balls and Pokemon of level 20 will obey. I have more survey rewards. I have these as well. They are further recipes you need for crafting. You saw that I got a stuff. You obtained a recipe for heavy balls. And revives. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself out here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Pat on the back. So, Legia, my girl. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done, on, well done on earning your first star rank. Our usual order of potato mochi tastes even better when there's something to celebrate. Hey, by the way, have you taken on that request Beauregard had? Well, most people here don't know much about Pokemon, you've noticed, right? So it's our job as the survey court to take care of any issues that crop up because of that. We're basically Pokemon problem solvers. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lap. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Ray? What's it all about? That one might be a better fit for Legia than me. I don't think I'll be able to pull it off unless I get better at Pokemon battling first. Ah yes, the request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in history since before the Galaxy team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there's much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokémon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. Next day. Hey Ligia, before I go meet Mai about that request, mind showing me how you do in battle? Of course. Great, I'll be at the training grounds. If you keep if you've been catching lots of Pokemon, you can change up your team at the pace just, just so you know. So we are going to save now. Uh, wait, saving is here. Save. And we saved. So that's it for today. And I hope you join me again tomorrow when we continue this one. Because for this weekend, we will stream all three streaming days. I have Pokemon Legends Arceus. Great game.
So check out the links that are posted in the chat or if you're on YouTube in the description below. And I hope to see you again. Until then, bye bye.